So the Moroccan war seems to be going just fine. The Portuguese have made a landing in Northern Africa. The only thing is, we don't know what is brewing behind that terra incognita, maybe south of the Sahara. Now, I don't think it's anything to worry about, but, I mean, myself and Portugal, we don't have our entire army uh, involved in this battle. As you can see, they, they are, they're still, you know, protecting their capital. That's fine. Portugal can do that. Um, we don't have all of our army, like, like in Moroccan territory, fighting with this war. We're, we're kind of going, like, half in. It's not everyone. It's just, you know, I, but... So that's my only thing, is Morocco is uh, western, we have Sunghai that's western, Mali's pretty huge, and Mali is involved in this war. Mali can kind of get a, a surprising amount of forces. Luckily, they would be, obviously, in the Sub-Saharan Technology Group, but it's still something to worry about. Um, and I, we, again, we don't know what's behind the, you know, I guess it's not technically terra incognita, I should say the fog of war. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. But I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, because Morocco just lost a battle with this 38 sack of Portuguese. They got sent to the south. They might come back with a huge force, and we don't know how big it would be. Uh, I'm not worried about it. We should still be able to win this war. And obviously, the faster I get Tunis out of the war, the better and good. So Sicily actually was, I guess Sicily, did Sicily give military access through to, uh, to tune, maybe it's because I started with military access with Sicily, then I canceled it, that's why I still have it before the war, something like that, I don't know. Okay, revolt in Brittany, let's see if they can, ha can you handle this? It's only, can, can you handle this, Brittany? Very disappointed, oh, look, my annexation process of Brittany has gone back up, it's now, it's at 36.5, it was going, it was like going low before, hopefully that continues, yeah, it is, okay, so good. For a while there, it seemed like it was actually getting lower. Okay, so good. Here's Sunghai. They haven't grouped up with any sort of Moroccans. Ooh, yep, here they come. Here they come. That is exactly what I thought. And our siege of... Uh, oh, this isn't good. Because we're going after the now Tunis capital. We don't really have anything to... Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Where are you going? You're sitting there. If I go and attack south, they'll probably come after me. Uh, but we're in the highlands. This is this would be we'd be attacking in the highlands, which means I'm thinking negative two terrain penalty. We absolutely need this fort. We've got to remove this fort because we can't move throughout Moroccan territory without destroying this fort or getting rid of this fort. I guess uh, you know what? Songhai is gonna unite. This isn't good. This is not good. This is exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Okay, boom. So Tunis is done. Let's go over this way as fast as we can. I could probably separate piece Tunis. It doesn't matter. They're done now. Yeah, I can't. I can't sever peace with the vassal. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, let's let's tr hopefully try to get that uh, that 22 stack here as fast as possible. Hopefully Morocco finishes up their siege. We've got to finish our own siege. Now, what's going on? Is it because where where where's the leader at? I where did my three star general go? Did he die? He better not have died. He did die. Oh gosh. Yeah, I, I, he died, and I totally didn't even notice it. Uh, yeah, I could call in Austria. I'm not going to because I'd rather use Austria, like I said in the last video, for the war against the Pope. So I'm going to yeah, refrain from doing that. We'll keep the missions the same. Don't really want anything there. Oh, gosh. Algerian separatists, of course. Um, hmm. Okay, let's let's go back here. Let's try to unite this two stack of galleys with the 87 stack. Give them a little bit more strength. They must have destroyed something probably that Morocco controlled. All right, bam. Combine them. Go back to Genoa. So, uh, is that like a guarantee those guys are going to upright? Yeah, probably. 16.7% chance they are probably going to almost guaranteed to uprise. Uh, let me think. Well, I'm, I'm not going to do anything for now. We won't do anything for now. We'll see. I'll, I'll see how much uprise. We'll see. Uh-oh. Yep, that is what I was expecting. There is a 56 stack now of Moroccan... Uh, troops and their allies. Let's see. So Portugal seems to be doing a pretty good job. They're bringing in reinforcements. Oh, they're going to win it. They're going to win it. Okay, that's good. Let's continue to convert this stuff here. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Bohemia and Cologne. Is Bohemia still strong? Well, at least you're not going against the uh, Palatinate. They're pretty strong. Bohemia is not that strong. How's Cologne looking? Oh, geez. I guess. I guess I'll accept it. I got to. I mean, everything, yeah, it should be fine. Okay, let's go back here. Make sure that we hire a new leader, general, thing. Too bad my army tradition has kind of gone lower. I could do one more. Oh, no, I can't. I'm, I'm two of two. Okay, well, at least, let's, let's at least make him work here. Get him involved in this war. Okay, guys, you got to finish the siege. Does this new leader have any siege value? He does not. 
He's got some uh, shock, which is good, and he's got maneuver, which is also pretty good. But that's it. Okay, we're, we're finishing these colonies, like, so fast. And I guess New Holland doesn't care about Great Britain's claim to these lands either, because they're still going after it. Good for them. They're doing the same strategy. The good old crack strategy. It always works, that crack strategy. Um, anything else? How are we doing in terms of manpower? I gotta keep an eye on that. Cologne, please stay, stay out of my way. Yeah, this isn't good. I didn't think about that. I'm probably gonna lose a lot of manpower here. I hope I have enough to still be able to... Oh my goodness, which military leader died? Oh, okay, the Conquistador. Good, so I'll hire a new guy. Three, two, five. Not as good as the three, the three star, obviously. Needless to say. Still okay. Okay, so Portugal seems to be doing good. They, they finished up their fort, their siege of that fort, so now they can kind of move throughout more territory. I'm worried because I can't reinforce them at the moment. At least I don't think so. But uh, they did fin finish the uh, the siege of, of Fez. Oh, maybe I can. If, if Portugal can move throughout the, the territory, then maybe I can too. I'm not sure. Let's go less national tax because I don't really need it. And that's going to be for the next 10 years. That's fine. Liege declared war on Cologne. So, yeah, we shouldn't have to worry about the north. I think we'll be just fine there. Seems like Cologne's not doing so well. Hopefully Austria doesn't lose too much. We're going to need their help. Here they are. Oh, perfect. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Portugal. That is something we absolutely needed. That was beautiful. All right. So let's go. Uh, let's go here. Let's go up and around. Hey, so I need to keep in mind that Portugal is using these occupations for themselves. They're not giving it back to me. They're not giving it back to Sardinia. Uh, that's because they have a claim on one of these lands. So we're going to be kind of obligated to give this to them. And I... I don't want to. I really do not want to because Portugal is is kind of weak in just Iberia. Well, they're not really weak. They're pretty strong. But giving them more stuff in Northern Africa is not kind of the most ideal thing. Okay, so now we're stuck. But for some reason, Portugal's not stuck. They can move throughout the territory. That's fine. I'll let them do whatever. Uh, so what are we looking like? We've got 28% war score here with Bohemia. We've got 13. Well, 16 now. Go over there, Portugal. Do some work. Finish the siege, or help us help us finish our own siege. Get your stuff over here and finish it for us. Oh, there we go. Bam. Nice. Finished up at the same time. All right, so we're going to press forward. There's no more forts, I don't think, in the region. So we should be able to kind of move throughout northern Morocco pretty carefree. All right, Portugal, go for it, man. Hey, you know what? I'll let them unsiege that stuff, because I don't want to give it to you anyways. I'm not down to give that to you. So if you don't want to, you know, fight, then that's fine. We'll just chill here. It won't be any big deal. Because I'll get these occupations pretty fast. Austria's accepted peace with Cologne. So now they're just going after Bohemia, which is probably going to give Austria quite a bit more strength in the northern part, just south of Poland. Just southwest, I guess I should say, of Poland. Uh, let's, let's not move too far away from our regiments. At least only two provinces away at the most. All right, Portugal, do nothing then. That's fine. If that's what you want to do, do nothing. Yep, okay, do nothing. That's totally fine. Oh, goodness. Okay, wait a second. This is bad. Uh, you're talking about a huge force of Mali, of Mali's regiments uniting right now. Well, they haven't united technically, but if we try to go after them, that's going to be a pretty big battle. That's exactly what I thought. I knew this was going to be tougher than, than maybe initially thought. You got to go around this way. Hey, 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 are you attacking me? No, we got out of there just in time. Okay, so let me keep an eye and, and, and see exactly what happens here. Uh, I would like to not contribute anything. Yep, okay, good. So I've still got 50,000 manpower. I didn't want to kind of, you know, be involved in that battle there. I want this 56 stack to unsiege this from Portugal. The occupation of Portugal, I don't want that because I don't want to give that to Portugal. I don't want to have to feel obligated to give that to Portugal. Are we stuck? We are stuck. That's it. I can't go anywhere else. Got to finish the Siege of Fez. Yeah, Fez kind of locks us down. All right, well, we'll finish that up soon. What are we at? We're at 27 war score. Wow, not that not that good. Where is Portugal at? Where did you go, Portugal? Where is my, like, dog? You're like my dog right now, Portugal. Like, just go sick him. I don't want to do it. I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared. Don't, don't get me wrong. I don't want, I, I don't want to have to fight anything. Because I'd like to just kind of move throughout wars now. So if I can kind of play as conservative as possible here, that would be good. I'm at 28.2 ducats per month. 
Land Force Limit. I do like that. Fort Defense, we don't really need that one. Let's go ahead and go Land Force Limit Modifier. Actually, let's go Land Maintenance Modifier. Save some more money. I like that. Let's save a little bit more money. Oh, Portugal's inside, Fez. Okay, so they're there. Perfect. And you know what? Morocco did unsiege the occupation. Uh, good, we're done with Bohemia. Uh, they did siege. They did finish the, the occupation there that Portugal had under their control. Yeah, but, you know, Portugal's dominating every battle. It's like they, they run in there with less troops, but they're always winning. Oh, goodness, dang it. That was what I didn't want to see. All right, let's send the 22 st stack back there. Hopefully they can deal with them. Russia, European trades in China. Traders in China. Okay. Well, there you go, Russia. So these guys are going to run back down south, more than likely. I don't exactly know what I want here in this war. I didn't even kind of figure that whole part out. But we should probably peace out before Portugal gets their own occupation. That way we don't have to give any, give anything back to them, right? Morocco's at low war enthusiasm, so maybe we should peace out. Ooh, this is not going to cost much at all. We could take a whole bunch here and not have to worry too much about aggressive expansion or it wouldn't cost us too much overextension either. I've got 356 uh, administrative power so far. I mean, I'd like coastal provinces, baby. I would like just boom all around. Now, I don't know if I should take the risk and grab that one away from Portugal because they'd probably be pretty mad. Could I take Fez for cheap? Yeah, this isn't bad. I could also ask for the vassalization, some vassal ends. Yeah, that looks pretty clean. Let's go for that. And let's also have them maybe cancel the subject of Tunis. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Timbuktu, you can hold on to Timbuktu. I don't really need that. Give me some money. Okay, never mind. Don't give me any money. Don't give me any money. Yeah, you know, I'm, hap I'm happy with that. Where's the aggressive expansion going to come from? It's not telling me. Well, that's fine. 43 over extension. That's fine. Let's do it. Bam. Nice. All right. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. All right, so you go here. You go here. Let's go and core this stuff. Wow. All right, so we got to core a whole bunch. Good thing I've got a bunch of extra administrative power on hand. We're being black flagged. That's fine. Let's see where they want us to conquer. Rethal. Where is that at? Ooh. Brabant. And I do want to go after that because I believe this can, they have a little bit of provinces in the English trade node. Yes, they do. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this mission. I don't know if I'm going to actually do it. Uh, but I'd like to go after that province or that that nation just for the you know just for the sheer trade power in the English trade node. It's such a good trade node to kind of have power in, at the moment at least. Sicily wants an alliance. That's not a terrible idea. I don't mind that idea. All right, so there's only a few more things I still have to convert. Rebel uprisings gone. All right, so what are we looking like? It's almost 1740. I'll take some time. Should probably take a little bit of time. There we go. So now it would just be Brabant and Lithuania. Ooh, Brabant would be a tough one, though. I would hope that Austria would deal with them themselves. Austria would go up there and, and deal with the, my foes to the north. We weren't even using a general. I didn't realize that. Let's reassign both of you guys up this way. I'm hoping that these guys will be able to handle the revolts. Yeah, there you go. Well, thank you, Portugal. Are you mad? Are you mad, bro? You good? You're good. Yeah, because because you didn't have the, the siege. You didn't have the occupation of your claim, so that's why I didn't give it to you. That's a perfectly legitimate reason. I would have given it to you. Haha, <laughs> not really, but I'm just saying that's my excuse. We got really lucky there. That was smart of us to kind of not let them, you know, let Morocco unsiege that claim. So we, we didn't have to give Portugal anything else. Yeah, but no, it wouldn't be a bad idea to ally Sicily. We don't really need it, though. That's the thing. They're not that strong. If they were a little bit stronger, maybe. Ottoman's not too strong, either. All right, I I'm liking it. I'm really liking the borders. I like that we have this huge chunk of Northern Africa now. Even though, like, you know, trade power-wise, it doesn't really mean much. It's still nice. All right, when do I want to start up the next war? I guess I should wait maybe a year or so. At least a year. At least a year. Croatia... Maybe we should go after Croatia. No, that's right. They're a vassal of Sicily. Ooh, Sicily grabbed a vassal. Good for them. 42.2% annexation process or progress with uh, Brittany. Not bad there. How are we doing with technology now? Okay, it's okay. Let's go ahead and pay for it. Bam. Nice. Land attrition. I like that because now that we have so much big, you know, so many big regiments just kind of running throughout Europe and, and Africa, it's a good idea. 
to grab that and, and have less attrition overall. Ooh, who's this? Chigasaw. Nope. Don't think so, Chigasaw. Sorry. I like you, kind of. I don't really care. I, I want to colonize just for the simple fact of colonizing, but... Uh, but yeah, I didn't, I, there's, I don't really want to deal, now that I think about it, I don't really want to deal with the new worlds at all. I want to continue focusing in on, you know, continental Europe as a whole, and Africa. I, we did just focus in on Africa. Uh, so let's go ahead and double check and see exactly what provinces I need to be able to form Italy. So where is that at? The Italian nation. Here we go. So I just need two, Ancona and Fr Frienza, which would be here. And Ancona would be here. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Because I cannot completely destroy the Pope. But I do need those two provinces to form Italy. So I guess I could leave them with like two provinces left. Maybe three. Just right here in the middle. Hopefully, you know, the truce isn't that long. So we can eventually take that. Take them over completely. Um, uh, we're still a, a ways away. I've got no war exhaustion though. That's good. Uh, my, my legitimate, uh, I'm sorry, my inflation has in fact gone down. Legitimacy, on the other hand, has been pretty bad, but I'm getting 2.1 a month. <laughs> That's something, right? It's something, kind of. Average, yeah, he's got an average claim to the throne. I'm hoping my legitimacy will go up after that new heir. The heir will be hopefully successful in bringing back some legitimacy back to our Sardinian empire, somewhat. I'm thinking 1741. I, I think 1741 we kick this war off. It's gonna be a tough one. You know what? Now that I'm now that I'm on the subject, let's make sure that we throw these guys down south so we can go just move in there quickly, and and just destroy them right away. And they're only allied to uh, Lithuania and Brabant again. Good. Tariff value, or I get potentially more. No, I don't need that. I don't need any more points. We're really good across the board. Okay, we're getting to cast spell eye. Ooh, another colonist. Now, I would like this. I'm going to avoid it, though. I'm going to wait. I'm going to make sure I stay ahead of the world in terms of technology. I really like being ahead of the world like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about maybe going after Tunis. Definitely want to go after Morocco again before the end of this. I'd love to go after the Ottomans. There's so many places I'd like to go after. When did Sicily grab this? Those greens are so similar, I, I probably have been missing that for a really long time. Sicily's been, I guess, I don't know, impressive. They've been doing a lot better than I thought. Opinion, how are we all feeling towards each other? Not bad, 152 opinion. Portugal could use some uh, kissing, kiss some kissing up to. Austria still asked me for that crap. Not doing it, though. All right, so I think we're good. Let's check on the core prog uh, pros progress. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. It's going to finish up in less than a year. All right, let's do this. Oh, we also finished a, a colony. It Now, is this, this is, ah, this is going to form a new one. I don't want a new one. I don't want to form anything new. Okay, you guys go here. And then we're still working on that. I can get another colonist soon. But again, like I said, I, I just, I just don't. Uh, the new worlds, it's a bore. It bores me now. Now that Europe is kind of not involved, Great Britain's not involved, it doesn't really matter. All right, let's get this started. Boom. Uh, again, let's make sure that we... This is nationalism, Casabelli, that I'm using. Uh, now, what is the nationalism, Casabelli? Whoa, way less aggressive expansion, way less cost. Perfect. Oh, that sounds great. Let's then make sure that we do it after Ancona. That's furthest. We should be able to grab this one pretty easily, too. And we'll declare the war. Anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there, though. Thank you so much for watching, and next time, we're going to go after the Pope, hopefully form Italy. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.